Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at another beautiful ship from the Steam Workshop. Now, this is the Phoenix Class Frigate, created by Captain Jack and Venom, and I have to say, it has an extremely stealthy appearance. Just look at that black and red, and then a little bit of grey colour combo that this ship rocks. Now, a few days ago, Captain Jack asked me if I would help him with a little bit of a voiceover for one of his videos, and I did so, and in the meantime, I took a little bit of a look at the ship that I was publishing on the workshop from the video I just have to say it looks extremely nice so let's have a look at the front and we'll work our way to the back and hopefully it'll give us some really cool inspiration for our own sort of builds as well so right at the front harbored inside this sort of recessed area is we have five barrels of this extremely powerful cannon and he's also actually highlighted the area if we just nip in here you can see the lights have added a little bit of atmospheric effects with that blue sort of glow to it and as we come down a little bit further it tucks into this area from the side that looks extremely sort of interesting we've got this lower bulge area that comes out and this side little window here is actually where the main bridge of the ship is so we've got a little bit of protection in that center and we've also got some pipes that are wired up in that area as well so as we come a little bit further back we've got one of these turrets now this turret is nicely recessed in this sort of protective housing just like how he's used the half blocks in this sort of area to create that sort of effect as well and you've got another little, little recess here just adding even more detail because if that was just a flat area it wouldn't be as cool at all and we've got the rw1 marking up there as well that i believe this is what the ship is part of the fleet wise so coming down a little bit further we've got some more windows in the side we've just got some more recesses now in this area we have a number of different cannons so i'm guessing this would be really nice at some sort of broadside battling with all these cannons firing out across that area and then a little bit further back, we also have a door and entrance where just look at this recessed area, what he's done here. I think this looks really beautiful. He's put the vents in the two areas there. And then a little bit lower down, we've got this sort of curved block to create that effect as well as a lighting block below. You can really do a lot if you spend the time cutting away the external parts of the ship. And he's also done the same underneath there, creating a beautiful amount of detail. Now, looking at these external sort of engine pods that we've got sort of attached to the sides here, on the top area, we've got these recesses where these hydrogen thrusters can be turned on and off. So I'm guessing when it comes out of atmospheric sort of flight mode, we can actually activate them and we've got a lot more control over the ship itself. We've got the Phoenix logo on the side and then thrusters have been recessed in there once again. Just look at that cutaway into that section there. Adding little details like that just creates so much depth within the actual design of the ship itself. You can see red RW1 there on the side again with the grey sort of marker. Very nice indeed. Let's have a look around the back. So we've got the main sort of engine power pack. That's two thrusters. Then we've got a number of smaller ones down at the back. We've got a large turret. Well, actually just a small turret on the top. And we've got two smaller ones there to defend from the back. So there's not really too many anti-fighter turrets on this sort of ship. But I'm guessing maybe it's not going to be coming up against that. It's more just to give supporting fire for other members of the fleet. We've got the same on the side. Let's actually get inside and have a look at the interior itself now. So entering through the airlock where we've got a merge block, I'm guessing for docking with a station or something, we can actually activate our legs, close up that door behind us, and we met with a very simplistic interior. Now I'm guessing this would be so you could outfit it with whatever you need in your own sort of survival sense. And as we come to the front here, we've actually got the weapons loading station and the timer block that actually prepares the weapons firing in battery sort of mode. So you'd sit here, activate your weapon systems, lock in on your target and engage. So let's actually continue moving towards the back of the ship. Now it's slightly leaning the ship because I did have a little bit of a test to see how this ship actually moved. And if we come to this rear area here and open up this door, we have access to the engine room. And I quite like this indeed. Look how the pipes are all piped up to the ceiling. We've got a nice sort of glass viewing area where we can monitor all the systems so we can have our engineer in the back here doing so. And then we've got these side sort of airlocks if we just open that up and close that one behind us where we can access the engines to do maintenance repair and i think this is very important a lot of players took away these things behind closed doors and metal steel so you can't actually access and repair them when they become damaged but this catwalk allows for quick access i mean get under here also repair our gyroscopes and other sort of machinery that's down in this area but let's head over to the bridge now so we'll cut back through the ship open this door up and if we run straight ahead and down one of these staircases, we actually enter into this area. But we'll go into the lower deck area first. I think this is quite interesting to show you. So we've got a small sleeping area with two sort of makeshift beds, med bay, as well as two cryo bays for if you want to sleep, maybe on a longer sort of journey. You don't have to have a massive sort of crew. We've got the battery charging station here. And now we're entering into the bridge where the gravity generator station behind us. And we've got a little bit of blue light in here just to give this little extra effect that I really love. Look at the blue and the orange sort of combo aboard the ship and in this bridge area. Very nice indeed. So we can see the tool summary in that one. We've got en uh, engineering air vents, oxygen tanks, reactors in that one. 
Um, I thought I said irradiation then, but it says acceleration. So let's actually take control of this in the pilot seat. So if we access number one, we have the main cannon that from a video I saw actually knocks ships completely off. So you could use this as a long range sort of sniper perhaps. You could come in at that angle. And that's the view we've got from the bridge. We can't really see too much, but at the same time we are suffering the visibility for protection. So if we bring the ship a little bit lower into this canyon, we can actually see how it controls. I can also access the other thrusters. So let's press five and that'll give us a little bit more of a hydrogen boost. And we've also got six as well that'll access the top ones. So if we decided to leave the atmosphere of this planet, we'd have a full control of the ship in the area. Not super fast on the acceleration, but it's good enough. And we've also got quite a bit of maneuverability so we can aim that main cannon. Definitely a rather cool ship and I would recommend that you check it out in the workshop. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.